Okay, I was in. Uh, I was invited to go to a Boringer Ingelheim uh, fishing party in uh, in Yoskowski, Louisiana, this last weekend. Uh, went out there Sunday night, stayed all day Monday, and fished. Uh, got to meet a really really nice charter company. Uh, stayed in a nice house. Got to party with some veterinarians and some other drug reps. Anyway, most of the noise and stuff on this thing was so uh, so obnoxious. I had to, to silence it out. Anyway, what you saw there was some white pelicans. Um, I saw a ton of those. Uh, took some pictures of them. I mean, I've never seen an island full of white pelicans. Here on the coast, white pelicans were like almost missing for a long time. And then all of a sudden, as I'm in South Louisiana, I see this, uh, this island chock full of them. Anyway, I uh, tried to play with some slow-mo. And that's what we're looking at right here. <coughs> I actually even tried to... Uh, um, use some panoramic pictures as part of the video as well. Sorry about my thumb up there. I was trying not to lose my phone in the high wind as you can see things shaking and rattling right there. Anyway, so this is where I go. The waves are moving really slow right now. Isn't that monotonous? Um... Anyway, we caught uh, tons of reds, speckled trout, and uh, and I actually got to learn about some fishing techniques. The uh, charter service was actually very, very forthcoming and everything you needed to know. All you had to do was show up in some relatively warm clothes and some fishing stuff, and they had all your rods, your reels, took the fish off the hooks for you. Um, at the time, I actually thought I was... Uh, a little bit of a more because I'm I've gotten used to catching catfish all these years. As an ask you, uh, it's a kind of a family curse. We can't be anywhere near a water source and not catch a catfish. So uh, it uh, they wouldn't let me remove them from my own hook. So I kind of felt spoiled. Uh, other than that, we did catch some. Uh, I did mention redfish and also caught black drum, uh, red drum, and some sheephead. Uh, anyway, so it was actually a really good trip. So I think we're coming up now on some of the panoramic shots. Okay, as we're cruising by the bank, I actually have it set on panoramic, which means I'm just holding the phone still as we're speeding by the banks. I had to wait till there was just enough trees and stuff for the, uh, the actual computer in the phone to realize that there was something that it needed to be tracking. So anyway, uh, if you watch the bank, you can see the bank moving up and down and in and out. And it gets really, really evident as they start going through a fishing village in a second. This was uh, us moving along at about 35 miles an hour in one of these uh, channels and stuff they made. <laughs> I will tell you that when we went out there, we went one way and came back another. And I can't tell you how many times this entire fishing trip, one of us would click at the other one and go, it's a good thing someone else is driving because I would be lost out here for the rest of my life. It was like a maze of waterways and channels. just straight ahead forever. All right, there's some more of the uh, the panoramic shots without the actual panoramic. We did actually cruise through these little fishing villages. Um, and then we'll probably see some of the shots in just a second. There we go. It's always interesting exactly how it distorts stuff, but it's cool. Kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. Some really cool boats. There were winches and cranes everywhere. We were marveling at the house we were in. It was on these like 15 foot stilts. And it was basically one of those double wide trailers that they bring one half at a time. So... We were discussing how they got them up there, and anyway, there's these little fishing shacks, places for bait. <clears throat> there's our captain. 
His wife's also a veterinarian, so he's a little, you know, dearer to our heart. Uh, there's me kissing a redfish. I was told that if I didn't get pics of me kissing redfish, that uh, my life was going to be over. So to the person who made those requests, there you go. I think there may be some tongue action in one of these shots here. That was the first uh, red fish I'd caught for the day after I'd gotten rid of the catfish curse. Here comes our haul. Good day in the office, boys. <laughs> it was a long day. I'll be quiet here as best I can. We put in some overtime. Good job. But, but Carrie cool. likes fishing up to a clock every day, you know, so that's his favorite. And what we do is we'll get y'all to get on that side and take a knee. I'll snap a couple pictures if y'all got a phone. Here's two boatloads of fishermen, drug reps, and all there looking at our fish. Don't we look just so domestic? Also, while cleaning the fish, they had some pelicans out there fighting for the, uh, the leftovers. So I will, in a minute, make a video of that as well. And the rest here is just picks of pelicans. We saw both white pelicans, brown pelicans. Um, that's a mature brown. And I think our last pick coming up here, our next to last pick is going to be, that's an immature brown. Pelicans are awesome. They're a really cool species. All right, and that's it.